going to honor the request of my dear god brother. We're in his very beautiful home here. And we'll offer some prayers and meditations to the lotus feet of our Guru Pada Padma, who's Aridabhav Mahotsa, the appearance festival we are observing tomorrow. Abhirbhav is one day only. Like we say, every day the sun rises and sets. So every sunrise is not the birth of the sun. Every sunset is not the death of the sun. So Guru is never disappearing and ultimately never appearing. Guru is eternal. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu. Right. So we are meditating upon the glories of our Srila Gurudev who appeared to Bhikshad Kiwaripur. Is this his appearance place? Yes? A qualified yes. Like we say, Radhastami. What is the appearance day of Srimati Radhika? When is her appearance day? Our Guru Maharaj would say, Shumati Radhika's appearance day is Ras Lila. Why? She is Krishna's eternal Shakti and she manifests from his transcendental form, but she is always eternally present. So there's no appearance and there's no disappearance. There is the appearance in our lives. Therefore, this day is very glorious. Like the sun rises to our vision. Does the sun ever rise? Right? So in the same way, we should understand God himself. What is the nature of the absolute truth. We are present here in this room today, in this small area within a larger area, big area, Silicon Valley, important place. What is the importance of this place? within the Brahmanda. So where is God present? Vyapnoti iti Vishnu. In Sastra, in the scriptures, we hear that Bhagavan, the Supreme Lord, is present everywhere. So is He present in this room? <laughs> Bhagavan is not here. Where is Krishna? Okay, there's Krishna. Very good. Very good. Paramatma means Bhagavan, the Supreme Lord, is in every jiva's, living entity's heart. Only that? What did Prahlad Maharaj say in the Bhagavad? Is he in this pillar? Oh, yes, of course. Inside, outside, everywhere. So where is Guru present? Our Guru Maharaj would often recite this beautiful prayer. That personality who by his love and devotion expressed through his heart in the form of his words can manifest the Lord in everyone's heart, they themselves are present in everyone's heart. That is Guru. Bhagavan is already in your heart. Bhagavan is everywhere within this room. In every atom, Bhagavan is present. In the Bhagavad Gita, this is clearly established. In Sastra, this is clearly established. 
But how can we develop relationship with Bhagavan? That is the function of Guru. Therefore, wherever Bhagavan is present, Guru is present. Sarva Bhuta Hridaya Muni Manatesmi. So we are not alone. So yesterday we spoke at Gopika Didi's house, Ram Krishna Prabhu. We spoke a little bit about Satchidananda Tattva and how in most widely propagated conceptions of dharma, mostly Satchid is described, Ananda is neglected. What is the Ananda principle? So I'm doing a series on the glories of my Guru Maharaj and our Guru Varga. For those who are watching or listening, sometimes we have this why in a private setting of our room, just speaking to those who are listening and following along. We do about half hour podcasts. And this is an introduction I'm telling the story of Guru Maharaj and our Guru Parampara. And from that point on, all Krishna Kata. Next, we'll discuss Ramayan, why my Guru Maharaj, who's the glories of Lord Ram, was very dear to his heart. As a little boy, he even had darshan of Lord Ram, Sita, Hanuman, Lakshman. So we'll tell some Ram Kata and Mahabharat. Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavat. But from the perspective of Guru Maharaj and Guru Maharaj Sevak. This is Guru Darshan. Right? So my dear big brother Vishrambar Prabhu, God brother, who brought me, as well as our young monks, Dravan Prabhu, Tirtaratna Prabhu. We are to the West Coast for Guru Darshan tour. Guru Darshan kya hota hai? What is Guru Darshan? Guru Darshan means, oh, Guru Dev appeared in this place and he did these activities and then he went and traveled and preached and he became sannyas and he became Guru. This is Guru Darshan. Is it enough? We speak about our Puram Gurudev, Ati Martya Charitraya, super mundane activities. So these activities that he performed in this world are very glorious, very important. But Guru Darshan means Guru Sambandha, relationship with Guru. That means where is Guru Maharaj present now? What are his activities now? How can we be in his connection, association, now. That is Guru Darshan. What is Guru Darshan at this moment? Right? Mahaprabhu prayed, Kaha jao, kaha pao, brajendra nandan, brajendra nandan avina fate modaman. Where will I go? Where can I find my Krishna? He wasn't satisfied reading a book. Oh, I'll find Krishna in a book. Where will I find that Brajendra Nandan Sham Sundari Krishna? Kaha jao, kaha pao. Where will I go and how can I find Krishna? So we should also think, where can I find Guru Maharaj? How can I serve Guru Maharaj? So I'm very fortunate to have such a loving, beautiful, spiritual family here. And Speaking about the speciality of Guru Maharaj, I want to address this topic of unique contribution of Guru Pada Padma. He did not come to establish material religiosity. Prithiviti jata dharma nama chale, Bhagavad kahe paripurna chale. Whatever is going on in the name of religion, for the most part, this is complete cheating. This is the Bhagavat Dharma, Shiksha teaching. So, what is real Paramartha? 
And how can we enter into real Paramartha, spiritual life? That is the subject matter of the disciple's life. We do not take discipleship to gain some material benefit or some status badge, or oh, I am disciple of so-and-so. What's the benefit? Hai? Membership club. Dunya Dari ka membership club. We are in club, we are in club. We are in this club, we are in club. <laughs> How can we be in Bhagavan's eternal club? Hamara konsa parivar. So this topic we've been discussing is Paramartik Parivar, spiritual family. Spirit and matter is distinct. That which is temporary body and those things connected to the body just will disappear. The Atma and Paramatma and the relationship between Atma and Paramatma that is established by Guru, that is eternal. So this is the speciality of our Gurudev. He did not allow us to focus on material religiosity. Establish a mission, change the world. Oh, such hubris. We can change the world. Bhagavatam, 12th canto, Prithivi Devi, Mother Earth says, huh, so many people came and tried to change the world. They've all come and gone, come and gone. No one remembers their name. Your change, right? Who remembers what went on 500 years ago in this place? There were ma- many great founders and revolutionaries and innovators who are all dead and gone. How can we establish Atma? Paramatma Sambandha, relationship with the soul in Bhagavan. This is our contemplation. Therefore, we have become Sishya, disciple. So, Gurudev came to say, to serve and support spiritual communities. This is what he did. You see, in the Prachar for 32 world tours, Gurudev traveled from house to house, home to home, place to place, town to town, village to village especially to Bhakta Mandalis, right? Our Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he truly came to save the world. Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada says, don't try to be a reformer unless you're specially empowered by Bhagavan himself. Otherwise, what's worse than a lazy fool? A busy fool. A busy fool is worse than a lazy fool. So many great reformers have come and caused a ruckus and messed everything up and then left. Those who are especially empowered, why? By the desire of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, perform this task for me. And they create a revolution within society. So every Acharya has their specific seva to perform. Therefore, subtle discrimination, refined intelligence, does not compare Acharya, oh, this Acharya did this, this Acharya did this, which one is better? Who had the better stats? They're on the same program, Bhagavan's program. So our Guru Maharaj went community to community, and he established the focus on true spirituality. I know this from, right, in Gopika Didi and Vishwambhava Achyuta Prabhu, how much Guru Maharaj focused on Krishna Kata, and how much did he focus on Dunyadari. There will be many personalities who focus on, well, there's this problem, and then there's this problem, and there's this problem. Here's all these different material solutions. Try them out. 
Gurumar said, problems are like waves in the ocean. How many of those problems are you going to try to overcome? Wave is coming, you stand, I'm going to show you. Don't fight with Samudra Dev. Samudra Dev is more powerful than you. This ocean God is more powerful than us. Maya is more powerful than, than us. We are infinitesimal, but the jeeves, small, conditioned soul. The Guru Maharaj established this point. What is your sambandha with Bhagavan? What is your relationship? What is your parivar? Right? When we start the process of bhakti, devotional activities, pratamam guru padashrai. First stage is guru padashrai, taking shelter of Sri Guru. Is this stage like A, and then we go to B, C, D, E, F, G. This stage is A to Z. Why? In this world, we take Guru Parashrai, but this stage is not temporary. We are praying, O oh Guru Maharaj, what is your eternal parivar? Your eternal family connection to Bhagavan. And how can I be established within that family and serve therein. So this is Guru Maharaj's focus. We see this. That's why our Guru Maharaj established this very beautiful painting, Seva Kunj. He said, this is my heart. What does that mean? They say, home is where the heart is. So how can we understand our connection to Sri Krishna and Sri Radha and their service and enter within that tr- transcendental family. Paramartik Parivar, spiritual family. This is our topic. So everywhere Guru Maharaj went, on the car ride, we were listening to Guru Maharaj's Kata. And then afterwards, we heard Guru Maharaj's Sevak Kata. And both were on the same track, as if the same train. And going, 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 following the same mission of our Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada who declared very boldly, back to Godhead. What was Prabhupada's focus? Back to Godhead. That means, this world is the place of suffering in samsar. You can do your best to follow dharma nicely, care for others, do good, follow a good, pious life, be righteous according to your dharma. Krishna says, Shreyan Swadharma Viguna Para Dharma Bhayavar. Follow your dharma, very good. But what is your Atma Dharma? On Vyas Puja, especially, Guru, they would stress this point. How can we be established in our Atma Dharma? Atma Dharma doesn't mean Karma Kanda, I will do this work, and then that work, and then I will do Yagya. And I'll do Yagya, and then I'll get more money and more position, better house, better car. Oh, I am worshipping Guru. And now the fruit is coming to me. So this is our meditation. Guru Parashrai means, how can we go where he is now? Where is our Prabhupada now? That is Guru Darshan. Guru is not dead. Understand? So that means, Granta is there. Granta, or the book, is like a map. And if you follow the instructions in the book, you can get to the destination. The Guru is not dead, bound within the letters of a book. This is a guide map. Follow this process and find where is Guru Maharaj. Without viraha, separation, how are you going to do that? Viraha means you have desire or greed to find that object that you have lost. So, Hamara Guru Maharaj kaha hai? Where is Guru Maharaj? So, Bhagavad Parishade is a Krishna's associate. So, he comes to this world just like Krishna in Sasha says, Anugrahaya Bhaktanam, Manusham Deham Ashritam. The Lord appears in a human-like form, performing sweet pastimes, and then He disappears. 
We see this in Rash Lila. Appears, disappears. Attracts the heart, steals the heart, and then disappears. Why? Because he has to attract you to Nitya Lila. Otherwise, you become attached to Jada. Only this world. This is the problem that we face. We should not think that, oh, all the other dharmas are Jada material dharma, but we are bona fide. Everything is bona fide. Question is, are you bona fide or not? Am I bona fide or not? All dharmas are bona fide because they are according to everyone's qualification. How can they advance in spiritual life? So there is some truth there. How to develop relation with Bhagavan, Krishna, Supreme Lord. But how are we following it? If we're not following it properly, then we become only stuck within dharma artha kam moksha not pancham purushartha krishna prem it's not the real goal guru maharaj established this like thunderbolts crystal clear he said all these other activities you're doing if it doesn't lead to your development in bhakti this is only aropsita means like imitation bhakti and in Gurudev's Kata, why we're, we're transcribing, one book a month we're publishing of Guru Maharaj's Kata. So presently we're on volume 41 from his English tours. We're preparing to publish it. So 96, 97, 98, 99, every lecture he spoke. This is our research. People say, why are you doing so much work? Just one is enough, two is enough? No, this is called scientific research. Sometimes scientists have to do another test, another test, another test. We said it here, what did he say the next time? And my Vrindavan Prabhu is saying every book is, he's working on one book, he said, this one's my favorite book. So sweet. Every category he says, so sweet. And then two weeks later he says, this is my favorite book. It's so sweet. This lecture, this kata, so sweet. And then three, four weeks later he's on the next one, he says, oh my God, this blew my mind. This is the best one yet. And so we say, what is our favorite book, Vrindavan? The next one. <laughs> so presently we're doing from when Guru Maharaj came back from his Western tour in 96, we did 10 volumes. Every place he went, one, one volume. UK, Holland, Houston, New Brudge, San Francisco, West Coast, New York, New Jersey, everywhere. Every recorded lecture. If something wasn't recorded or not available, then, I'm sorry, when it becomes available. But Guru Darshan is eternal, ever expanding. When we publish this Guru Darshan book, this is not enough. Every lecture he spoke, but this is not enough. What lecture is he speaking today? Where is that recording? And Gurudev said, don't trust these black boxes. Hear directly. So how can we go and hear from Guru Maharsh? Therefore we do mantra. Guru mantra is connection to Guru. Therefore every morning, every evening, we, we bathe, we take Achman, we meditate on Atma Dhyan first. Before Guru mantra you do Atma Dhyan, meditation on the Atma. That means Naham Vipro, Napi Vaishyo, Na Sudro, Na Hang Varni, Na Chagriha Patir, Nava Narstar Yatirva. I am not a sannyasi. I'm Atma. Body is not a sannyasi. Cloth is sannyasi. Cloth makes a sannyasi. Body makes a sannyasi. Does body is a sannyasi? Or body is grahasta? Body is earth, water, fire, air, ether. Mind, intelligence, ego. Collected according to your karma. And this body will live out its life in karma and then it will perish. So what is the relation between Atma and Paramatma? How can you be established in Atma Dharma? Naham Bipro Napi Vaishyana Sudha. I am none of these things. I am only Gopi Bhartu Padakamalyo Dasa Dasa Dasa. How can I be established in that reality? Therefore Guru Maharaj would go everywhere he would go. He would always bring us forward into the realm of real bhajan. This is Guru Seva. Guru Seva is bhajan. 
And then when you perform bhajan, then you get Guru Seva. Otherwise, Guru Maharaj doesn't so easily give. Otherwise, maybe, oh, if you're not in guidance, then busy fool. So Guru Maharaj gives seva, but he gives guidance. Then you do seva, that is your bhajan. Why? According to your adhikar, qualification. That is your bhajan. Seva is bhajan under anugatya, guidance. Without guidance, your seva, if it's not pleasing the object of the devotion, then it's not considered seva. So like a limb of karma, gives supriti, pious merits, and different benefits, worldly benefits. So therefore we pray to Guru Maharaj. Oh Guru Maharaj, how can we always be in your shelter, your guidance? We hear this verse again and again. Like when you're going over our research, you find certain things Guru Maharaj repeated again and again in subtle different ways, emphasizing the same point over and over. And as we're doing our book series, Right now we're doing the India Hindi to English, and so we're on volume four, Hindi to English. And we're very honored that our dear friends here are supporting this project by their hearts and their love. So therefore, Guru Maharaj again and again, he will say these certain points over and over and over again. Our life span is limited. Our energy in this life is finite. How can we focus our energy in a path that can lead to our spiritual progress? Therefore, what is the essence of all advice? Understand that. Follow that line. So therefore, we chant our Guru Mantras. Guru Mantra. This is first Guru Seva. I tell people, oh, you have this, you have that. I say, I have nothing. Sannyas means I have no possessions in this world. I have my Guru Mantras and my Guru Seva. That's Sannyas. Sannyas is not a plaque you put on your wall. <laughs> oh, receive this award. <laughs> This is a punishment. Sannyas means danda, punishment. Body, mind, words, sasan, chastisement. Every day you wake up and you pick up shoes and beat your head. At nighttime you take a broom and beat your head. This is sannyas. Sala badmash. Narak me parehue. Fallen in hell like a worm. <laughs> How can you realize your swarup? So Guru Maharaj established Guru Darshan means Guru Swarup Darshan. When we chant our Guru Mantra, what do we pray? Radha Saki Sangha Nivasinam. Guru Maharaj is present there. How can we have that vision? That is Guru Darshan. So Guru comes and establishes relation with us, and then he encourages us to go forward. And we perform all our, all our duties. We all have duties. I have my duties. We all have our duties. This is our Guru Seva. Each according to their own responsibilities. Why? How can we develop some deeper connection through Guru Seva, some Bandha thickens. So your Guru Seva as family members, raising your children, performing your duties. This is very important. Like in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says there's levels of knowledge. Sankhya Yoga, Atma Tattva. All these levels of knowledge are there. But what is the Rahasya? What is the most confidential and the most of the most confidential? So we should also give some energy to that. We have our responsibilities in life. But Gurudev would say, real morality is, what is your duty to God in your relationship? Sambandha. This is our real you could say kartavya, duty as a jiva, and as a shishya, disciple. Guru Maharaj established this Seva Kunj painting, and he said, here I am also. This is my heart. So we're also trying to serve that heart of Guru Maharaj in our New York ashram. 
How can we worship the heart of Guru? How do you worship the heart of Guru? Mano Bishta Seva. To satisfy or fulfill the heart's desire, that means love. The nature of love is that you want to please the object of your devotion. So worshipping the heart of Guru means to first meditate. What does Guru Maharaj want? What instructions has he given me? Guru gives general instructions and specific instructions. We try to follow all. But specific instructions aren't so easily received. Because if you don't follow, this becomes Guru Avagya. Guru Maharaj gives many general instructions. Respect Vaishnavs. Don't criticize Vaishnavs. We can't follow this, then why would he give us a specific instruction? Right? We go through the books and 1,000 and 10,000 times it says, don't criticize. General instruction. Specific instruction can be received once you pass the test of following a general instruction. Right? Chant your Harinam. Follow a Kadashi nicely. This is our prayer. How to follow nicely? We're very lucky. We're here. This foundation is so important, otherwise, everything becomes Sahajya. Guru Maharaj's speciality, or Guru Maharaj's Manjri, I will be Manjri, we'll all be together dancing with Krishna. Radha Rani Seva Haribo. Yes. But where are you now, and where do you want to go, and how are you going to get there? So therefore, Guru Maharaj gives you this dristi, this laksha. Look that way. Follow this path. Gurudev spoke again and again about Raghunath Das Goswami. How to follow Sadhan Bhajan. Right? What are the prayers of Raghunath Das Goswami? What is his mood? How can we develop that mood and serve in that line? But we're very lucky to have a very beautiful spiritual family. And one thing that can give us comfort is that spiritual life, right, when you have your children, okay, this is like relatable, you have your kids, you don't tell your kids, hey, what are you doing, nonsense, why haven't you got a PhD yet, why haven't you graduated yet, no, it's bachai, so for children, you give love, affection, support, but also encouragement, and sometimes even dharna, chastisement. Right? This is parenting. Parenting 101. First affection, love, protection. Years after years after years, investment. Right? How many years do you have to invest in your children? All of your life. You invest. So this is a, for us, Guru Maharaj is investing his energy. So we don't have to worry. This is the consolation. Everything will happen in due course automatically. But all our effort is to do is to not stunt, to not block our spiritual progress. Our spiritual progress will happen automatically if what? What is the necessary ingredient for our spiritual progress? Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastri Koi, Lava Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. Right? Our own Sadhan Bal, we don't have it. Jogya Tvichari ki chunahi pai, Tomara Karuna Saad. Eka ki amar nahi pai, Bal Harinam Sankirtan. So, this is why we have our communities. We come together, we meditate upon Guru Maharaj. And Guru Maharaj, this, we'll have these bhajans tomorrow, and tomorrow early morning I'll give this kata. Why yesterday we had discussion up to the point of, right, Keshi Ji Gauri Amat, what is mala, fragrance, what is the seva to Guru Maharaj, making mala, serving Takaji, understanding how to enter into real relationship. This is our vision. Gurudev came and established Sambandha with us, right? But how can we go from this class and go through our classes of study and then enter the next class? That's parenting. So everything will happen automatically, but there's still a process. This is called a pranali. 
right? You can flunk the class, but if you follow basic course, then mercy will come and you'll make advancement. My own life, I never thought about, I never was worried about making advancement, to be honest. I had no time to think about this. My advancement was Guru Seva. What is the need? How to serve Guru Maharaj? How to serve Vaishnavs? How to chant Harinam? Follow the program. I never had to worry about my own advancement because I was day and night in Sadhu Sangha and fully engaged, like the Chutapu and others who live life as brahmacharis. You don't have to worry about your advancement. This is your independent mentality. I am powerful. I am separate. I can do everything on my own. Simply reside and spend time in the association of Vaishnavas, automatically you will progress. So that's why we have our spiritual communities. To follow Ekadashi, follow some Harinam, Sankirtan, all these things. But everything will happen automatically if we're serious. Otherwise, Koti Janma Jadi Shravana Kirtan, Tabuta Napai Krishna, Pari Premadan. Both sides are there. But Guru Maharaj is very merciful. Guru Maharaj had special affection for all of his children, daughters and sons. So we should all think, as long as we have Guru Bhakti, our life is successful. Guru Bhakti. One time, one of Gurudev's disciples said, Oh, Guru Maharaj, I feel like I'm not making any advancement, any advancement. He said, what do you mean? You are the judge. You go to a doctor and say, heal me. But you have a very bad disease. It's very subtle. You can't even see it, perceive it. He says, now you're doing better. Now you're doing better. So Guru Maharaj said, what is your desire? Said, oh, by your mercy, by hearing kata from you every year after year after year, we've heard so much kata from Gurudev. He said, what is your desire? He said, oh, tabe vasmi, tabe vasmi, najivami, tayavina, iti vidyaya, devita. And that is my desire. Your life is successful. If you can find some spiritual yearning, this is our recommendation. Five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, Take away all other distractions and pray, chant your Guru Mantra. This will make your life successful. Sometimes people ask me, oh, I didn't do the Mangala Arati, and I didn't do the evening Arati, I didn't do lunch Arati, and I didn't make five offerings, and I feel like a failure. I didn't chant enough rounds today, I feel like a failure. Do one round with no distraction. Turn off your phone, turn off your notifications, make a wall, protection. Therefore, first you do Atma Dhyan. I am Atma. First, Atma Dhyan. I am soul. And how can I establish my relationship with my Guru and Bhagavan? In five, ten minutes, then automatically this will increase. Why? Because the sweetness of your Sambandha will give you this flavor. Oh, I want to be with you more. So five minutes, ten minutes. This will make your life successful. Why? Like exercise. Oh, you start, day one you don't look better in the mirror. <laughs> a month or two, oh, it's an improvement. So s- steadiness, Guru Mantra, Harinam, this is first Guru Seva. First Guru Seva. This is Guru Maharaj's speciality, focused on, one time Guru Maharaj was traveling on a train with many brahmacharis and they woke up late and he said, what are you doing? There's no taste for Harinam, no taste for Manasi Seva. Where they said, Tishtan Braje, if you can't reside in Braj by body, be there by mind. So that means we are here now, San Francisco, Silicon Valley, but you can, for five minutes a day, you cannot be here. For five minutes of the day, be in Vrindavan. When Gurudev would start Kata, he would say, Come with me to Vrindavan. Jaiva Dharma starts saying, Come with me to Navadvip. So morning, evening, we can say, Okay, all day long I'm in San Francisco. But five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, I can be in Vrindavan. By my heart and by my mind. Shmati Radhika says, Anyer Hidoi Man, more Man Vrindavan. My heart and my mind is in Vrindavan. Where is Guru Maharaj in Vrindavan now? How is he serving in Vrindavan now? What is Guru Darshan now going on at this moment? Guru Maharaj would come and say on the morning walk, What is Krishna doing now? And people would say, What do you mean, what is Krishna doing now? I don't know. Bhagavatam didn't give time. Oh, this time of day he killed Trinavarta. 
This time of day, Shakadasur. This time of day, Kaliya. No. Nitya Lila Pravishta. What is his Nitya Lila Seva? What is our Nitya Lila Sambandha? How can we develop focus on that Shurup? This is just an introduction. Why half an hour you can't ex- describe and explain all Tattva? That's why Harikata is daily medicine. Harikata is daily diet. Like Harinam Kirtan is daily diet, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Harikata is daily medicine, half hour appetizer. So tomorrow we'll have kata from many devotees, and I'll give kata evening to those who want after hours, right? And tomorrow morning I'll give kata when? 5 a.m. Okay, no problem. But this will be shared for anyone who's interested. And I'm also addressing this in a general way. Why? Guru Seva means we have our spiritual family. Right? We have our spiritual family. That is enough. Guru Seva means give other jivas the opportunity to be freed from this cycle of suffering in samsara. Jive dhoya Krishna naam sarva dharma sar. So we should not be satisfied. Oh, we have our group. Yes. But how can that love of Srimati Radhika for Krishna expand throughout the world? How can everyone know about that? Good news. So we're meditating on Guru Maharaj and praying for Guru Seva. I'm praying to share this message. I'm sorry for speaking. I don't know what I will speak. Let me speak. Huh? Thank you for patience and your time. Please forgive me for speaking anything harshly, sweetly, sweetnesses. Bhajan. Bhajan. <laughs>